Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my empties. I'm not gonna call it a beauty product empty because not everything here is beauty related. Most of it is though, but there's some hygiene things and there's one like household thing. So yeah, um, if you would like to see my empties, what I've used up and my opinions on them, then please keep watching. So the first thing is, this is I guess considered a beauty product, but this is a um, shower gel from Bath and Body Works and it's in the scent Pink Chiffon. Oh my goodness, if you have not smelled this, please go out and smell it. It smells so good. I had never smelled this before and I was looking for something completely new. Um, I usually tend to stick to the scents that I know I like, but anyway, I was smelling this and absolutely fell in love and I'm about to go buy another one of these. I have never used a shower gel completely up this fast. This is amazing and I don't know what it is, but something when I'm bathing with it reminds me of gummy bears. Is that weird? <laughs> I don't know. It smells really, really, really good though. Totally would recommend this. Again, it's the pink chiffon scent. This is probably my new favorite from Bath and Body Works. The next thing is a face wash. And this is the um, Philosophy Purity Face Wash. Now, okay, <laughs> this bottle itself is not empty, but I had a bottle before this that I completely used up and it was empty, but I threw it away before I decided to film this video. So I had already gotten a new bottle, so I just decided to use this one to show you guys for today's purposes but I did use up completely a whole bottle of this before this bottle but this is the purity face wash love this stuff uh, the way that I use it this says that it can take your makeup off but I'm really weird and like to make sure that all of my makeup is off at night so I just use eye makeup remover take off my eye makeup obviously then I'll use like a wipe and take off my face makeup and then I'll put this on my Clarisonic and use this on my face with the Clarisonic in the shower at night. Uh, love this stuff. I have combination skin. I'm a little bit oily, a little bit dry sometimes. I'm, I lean more toward the oily side. When I was younger, I had really oily skin. This does not make me oily and it does not dry me out. So I think that it's just a really good face wash for pretty much any kind of skin. I haven't had any issues breaking out with this or anything. It smells really clean. Oh, hello. <laughs> it smells really clean. It's not, it's, it's just good. I like this. I like anything from Philosophy though. Um, but I would totally recommend this to someone just to try it. And this comes in so many different sizes. Uh, I tried it in like the little bitty travel size just to see if I would like it before I purchased the bigger bottle. And this isn't even a big bottle. But I tried the small one, completely used it up. And so I went back and decided to get the one that was a little bit bigger. And I'll probably get the one that's even bigger <laughs> next time. But anyway, yeah, love this stuff, totally recommend it. The next thing is a face lotion, and this is from Clinique, and it's the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Now, they have this same thing in a lotion, but this one's the gel. The lotion, I would say get that if you're more dry, but me, I lean toward the oily side, so this is the gel, so it's oil-free. It hydrates and moisturizes my skin without making me feel oily, which I really like. Uh, at night after I wash my face, I usually will use like olive oil or coconut oil or something like that because it's all natural and it can hydrate me through, it can hydrate my face throughout the night really well, uh, but I don't like using that in the mornings. Hello, my cat just decided to get in the camera and say hi. This is Tux because he's black and white like a tuxedo. Ugh. I was not a cat person before I got him, but he has totally changed my mind. I love that cat. Anyway, back to this lotion. Um, the, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the olive oil or coconut oil does feel really oily and it doesn't soak up super fast. So I'll use that at night and just sleep with it. And then in the morning, I'll get up, wash my face and then use this. And this dries pretty fast. So I can just put my makeup on right over this, no problem. I definitely recommend this. The next thing is, okay, judge me if you want to, but let's be honest, 
everybody needs deodorant and nobody wants to stink so I figured oh, why not throw this in here <laughs> um, I did use this up I actually really like this this is the secret clinical strength stress re bleh, stress response deodorant I really 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 like this stuff I like the clinical strength deodorants in general I just think that they work better the only thing I don't like about them is that they're more expensive and they're way smaller but whatever you can't have your cake and eat it too right so this has a more I want to say citrus smell but it's not too citrusy I don't really know how to describe it it smells really good though I'll definitely be repurchasing this again it um oh it does say serene citrus scent I don't know it's citrusy but it's not like overpowering it's just really good I really like the way it smells and like I said this works really well the next thing is a perfume I am a perfume freak like completely obsessed with perfume I have way too many you can only wear one at a time but um I'm trying to use them up because we live overseas right now and in a couple of months we're getting ready to move back to the states I'm so stinking excited but the movers I have been told will not ship your perfumes or anything liquidy like that so I'm trying to use them up so that I can only get down to like one or two maybe three um, that I can just throw in my suitcase and take with me myself because the movers will not ship these so I'm trying to use them up and this one is the Juicy Couture perfume and it's just the regular plain juicy one I had the Viva La Juicy and really liked that one I used it up a while back but this one I don't know what it is like when I smell it at first it's not typically something that I would pick up because I tend to go toward the sweeter scents but this one like when you spray it on you and it kind of mixes with you it smells really good and it's one of those perfumes that lasts all day I like to be able to smell the perfume I don't know if that's weird but I like to be able to smell it on me throughout the day and this one does that like other people can smell it and I can smell it but it's not too strong and it's just a really good like clean florally scent almost I don't know it just smells really good I like all the Juicy Couture perfumes but this one's just the regular one um so yeah go out and see if you can smell that one it smells good the next thing is this is the one like household item and this stuff I cannot say enough about this is um this has to do with Scentsy. If you have not heard of Scentsy, oh my goodness, you are missing out. Please go look it up. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love burning candles. It's just something really comforting about candles. But Scentsy is one of those things where you buy the warmer, you can keep it forever, and then you just buy these. And it's just a container of wax. And it lasts a while. And they have so many scents. Uh, they change them out according to like the fall or the summer and the spring things like that so there's always new ones um it just i don't know i ooh, i really like it and like i said i love burning candles but my cat likes to play in the flame i guess because he sees it moving and he has actually singed the hair on his paws <laughs> so i try not to burn candles as much as possible um since he is totally safe it's a warmer with a light bulb in it you plug it in you turn it on there's no flame no candle no tea light nothing like that it's just a light bulb it heats the wax the wax melts and it smells up your house and it smells so good but this one in particular is probably my favorite for fall this is the pumpkin roll scent oh oh my gosh it smells so good like I just want to take a bite out of it mm. oh it's just like the perfect combination of like cinnamon and pumpkin and it just smells like something baking oh oh my gosh I can't get enough of this I am about to go order some more of these because I love this um since it is one of those things though that you have to order through a consultant I'm pretty sure that you can go on the Scentsy website and like type in your area, uh, not your area code, type in your zip code maybe or put in your state. I can't remember exactly, but there's a way to search for a consultant in your area and then you can contact them. Um, usually they have a website so you can order through their website, but you do have to find a consultant that sells Scentsy. But it's totally worth it. It's really good. There's a ton of warmers, ton of scents to choose from. This one just in particular is my favorite, favorite fall scent. And I've already used it up completely. Let's see. Oh, I have two more things. One of them's not completely empty, but I've hit pan on it. And that is a 
MAC eyeshadow. It's actually in a palette, but it's this one right here. And this is actually, which one is this? Brulee. This is Brulee. It's just a really, really pretty, like, nude flesh tone color. I use that a lot for um, the crease as a transition color from the eyelid to the brow bone. Love that color. Hit pan on that. Last but not least is a mascara. I actually, I did not think that I would like this mascara because I tend to stick to mascaras that I love and that I know I like, which are the Benefit They're Real and pretty much any Maybelline mascara. But this one, okay, honestly, let me just tell the truth for a second. The packaging got me. And typically, I do not let that happen because just because something is packaged really cute does not mean that it's a good product. <laughs> so I try not to let that get me. But this was a drugstore product. It was under 10 bucks, And the packaging was absolutely gorgeous. And I love anything shiny and colorful. So the package got me on this one. And I tried it. But I actually really liked it. I don't know that I would purchase it again. Only because I have the ones that I already know that I really, really, really love. But I did like this. If you're looking for a new mascara and you just want to try something different, it's definitely worth it. And honestly, I take that back. I might purchase this again. It's really good. I like it. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's just the Revlon uh, The Lash Potion by Girl Luscious. And let's see. It's just a regular kind of fluffy wand like that. I don't even think my camera's going to focus on it. It's just a regular like fluffy wand. Um, it's lengthening. It's volumizing. I don't think it's waterproof. Yeah, it does say it's volume and length mascara. So it is volumizing. It's lengthening as well. I really like it when you can find a mascara that will lengthen and volumize at the same time. That's like double bonus. But yeah, I really don't have anything bad to say about this. I would probably repurchase this again. Um, it's not my favorite mascara, but it is a good one. So go ahead, go out and try it if you want to. I don't think it's completely empty, but it's to that point where it's so dried out that I'm not going to use it anymore, I don't think. So yeah. Anyway, that is it for my empties. I don't have a ton of empty things right now, but I'm trying really hard to use up the things I do have before I go out and buy anything else new. So hopefully I'll have some more soon. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. And remember just to stay positive and have a great week. Be thankful for every day that you have. It is November, so be thankful. You should be thankful all the time, though. Um, life is short, so just enjoy it and stay positive and have a great week. Thank you for watching. Bye.